All right, so first I anchor the band about hip height, and then this band's gonna pull me into hip flexion. So I'm gonna have to resist that with hip extensors, primarily the glute muscles here. So I'm gonna push back into this reverse lunge position, and then I'm gonna drive forward using my ankle, my calf muscles, my quads, and my hip extensors here. So I come back, rotate my left arm forward, rotate my body a little bit towards the right hip. This will feed my glute. Then I extend up using everything. This is a triple extension movement here. And then slowly control back and then push up. So I'm creating power here. All right, so this is great for teaching a hip hinge. Right here, I have a dowel. I'm placing, with, placing it with one hand on my tailbone here. It's also making contact with point two, which is my mid back. And then the third point is my head. So my other hand's holding it against my head. This hand's holding it against my tailbone and it's on my mid back. And now when I go into this hip hinge position, all three points are maintaining contact with the dowel. And then I come back up. You can tell how if I round too much, See how this falls off of my tailbone and my neck? You have to make sure everything, st everything stays stacked on top of each other, and I'm only moving at my hip. If I round the low back, I lose it. So keep everything straight, just move back and forth at your hip, and then come back. So this is the hip again. So I'm just moving here. If you want, you can put your hand here just to cue yourself to make sure you know how to do a hip hinge, and then test yourself by using a dowel. So here's a hip hinge using a band. This band's gonna pull me into hip flexion here. So I'm gonna have to resist that by using my hip extensors, primarily the glutes. So I'm gonna fall into hip flexion here. And then I'm using the glutes to drive forward and create tension on the band. I'm trying to pull the band away from me or away from the anchor. And then come back and then go back and forth. So you wanna squeeze the glutes as you do this. Don't use the low back too much. If you feel like you're losing, using the low back a little bit too much, focus on tucking the tailbone underneath you and then that's gonna be done by using the glutes. So you can drive the hips forward while tucking the tailbone underneath you. That'll bias the glutes a little bit more, go back and forth. 